Lesson 1.4 is solving different types of equations using different methods. So one method that is very important that you know how to use is technology, different types of graphing calculators. In this lesson, or in this video, we're going to talk about using Desmos. A lot of you have probably used Desmos before. They have free phone apps and tablet apps that you can download. I highly suggest you do download it. You can also access it from any device that just has the internet without downloading an app. So we're going to solve this cubic function x cubed minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 by using Desmos. So if you have the app, great. Otherwise, you can just go to the internet and you want to go to Desmos, D-E-S-M-O-S dot com. And we want to start graphing. So in this first box up here, this is how your graphing calculator screen will look. If you're using an app on a tablet or a phone, it'll be a little bit more condensed. But over here, we want to insert an equation. Sometimes you can just start typing in. Other times you can go to this plus sign and enter an expression. So that'll always work also. So we want to enter our equation, y equals x cubed. So to get the cubed on a phone or a tablet, you can hit this A to B button. So this will put you up in the exponent. If you're on a uh, computer, you can just hit the caret button. So plus 3. And oh, get out of your exponent. Uh, minus x plus 1. So now we have this beautiful cubic function. And we want to find where this function is equal to 0. Well, that's the same thing as saying where are the y's equal to 0. So when you're looking at a graph, when are the y's equal to 0? Well, looking at the y-axis, when is the y-axis 0? The y-axis is 0 right here at the x-axis. So we want to find the zeros of this cubic function, or the solutions, or the roots, or the, in this case, x-intercepts. All those words, all four of those vocab words are interchangeable. So we want to find the x-intercepts. So Desmos is very easy. Once you see the x-intercept on your screen, all you have to do is click on it. Sometimes you have to click twice. Now we have our answer. x equals negative 1.325. That's when y is equal to 0. So make sure, just like the problem says, always round to three decimal places, even though the textbook says two. You are required to round to three because that's what the AP Calc exam requires. Three decimal places. So our solution, x equals negative 1.325. So that's one method to solve with using a graphing calculator. That was the zero method. The other method is the intersect method. When you're solving for when y equals zero, usually we use the zero method. If this was anything other than zero, we could use the intersect function to solve that as well. So if we go back over here, what, the way we're going to do that is just like you did back when you used to solve systems by graphing. You graphed both equations, find where they intersect. Same idea. We have one of the equations graphed. Now we need to graph the other equation. So the other equation is just the other side of the equal sign. So y equals 0. So we have y equals 0. Now we have our cubic function. In red, we have our linear function here in blue, and we want to find where they intersect. So in this case, they intersect where it's already highlighted because we already highlighted it. But normally, let's see if I can get it off. Normally, all you have to do is, there we go, just click on it. Click where they intersect, and it'll give you your solution. In this case, there's only one solution. Let's say instead of 0, this was a 1. We want to find where this thing is equal to 1. So now there's, you can see, three different solutions. So all you have to do is click, let's get that one off, click on all three of the solutions. So that's how you solve using either the 0, so just finding where it crosses the x-axis, or using intersect, using Desmos.